This is Alvaro Souza. This tutorial is going to be covering the workshop that I have put into Kingdom Dungeon and Hero. We're starting off on the Steam page. Reason is so I could show you where your mods are going to be. You go over where your profile is and you get it content by chance. Mine was on workshop. You go to workshop over here. It'll show you all the mods that you have updated. Players will change images, titles, and descriptions from within the Steam app because it is easier than doing it within the game. Click one of your mods, and over here, you could edit the title and description and hit save. Over here, you could change the image for the thumbnail. It should be 200 pixels by 200 pixels. You could subscribe to the mod right over here. What that'll do, it'll download the mod to the mods folder for Steam. And when you run the game, it'll pull those files and put them in the scenario folder. If you want to delete the mod that you make, you could hit delete over here. Let's say that you have a brand new scenario that you want to make. You designed it all. You made everything. You tested it. Everything's good. You want to be sure that you save it. Whatever save name that you give here is going to be the title when it goes up to the workshop. Up here, the scenario should say scenario file and folder are done. New mod. Uh, after upload, go to the workshop and add in a 200 by 200 image for the file item. Uh, that is the thumbnail. Uh, do not load to workshop until you're successful, until you're fully functional, of course. Uh, the title of it is this, Battle for Black Iron, for example. Enter the description. So you can type in the description over here. You want to read the Steam subscriber agreement. Very likely you read it when you first installed Steam, but this is something I have to do. You check mark over here that you have read it and you hit upload. And it'll take the scenario file name, all the data files, and it'll put it up on the workshop. It's that simple. Now let's say that you saved this and you wanted to make some changes, it's already in the workshop, you want to update it. In that case, you load your game. So let's say it just got loaded, right? Battle for Black Iron, you go to workshop and you look on your list. If you don't see your mods up here, just hit refresh list. You select Battle for Black Iron, which matches the file name for this, and it has to match. That's why I say when you make a new scenario, make sure that title that you have for the scenario is the one that's going to be on the workshop so you don't change it. You select it, and it'll give you the ID of the item. It's the same process. You have to agree to uh, the terms, and then you can just upload it. It'll automatically update it. If you decided you want to made a, you made a mistake over here, you want to do a new tile, just hit clear and it'll reset it to a new mod upload. Now, if you do by chance, like let's say I, I loaded this again, Battle for Black Iron, and I'm in the workshop and I don't click this, and I hit the upload right here, it'll create a duplicate of the same item. If you do make a duplicate of an item, no worries, just go into the workshop and delete it. And that is the simple tutorial for the workshop. Thanks a lot.